Hi everyone, Donut here. Welcome to a Leo recap. Oh my God, right? First off, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe, but we'll talk about that in a minute. There are about 70,000 new people rolling around these mean streets of Donut Operator's channel. I want to welcome you all. You may be asking, what is what is a Leo? What is a Leo recap? I will tell you right now. Leg extension operation, loud, erotic, and obscene, legally enhanced oranges, large, edgy ostrich, the roof Korean, let's enjoy opioids, low earth orbit, large erotic operator, Larry ejaculating orangutans, leprechauns enjoying Oprah, laugh everyone or suffer the consequences, look everywhere, okay? Lemon enhanced orphans, leopards eventually ovulate, and let's eat OxyClean. First story of the day isn't really a story at all, but it's a hilarious live PD clip that I need you to see. So let's get started. Trooper Freeman pulls up with some people because one of them is riding a gas powered bicycle on the road and that's not legal. Who told y'all these were legal? They're motorized bicycles. They're PGCC motors. As long as you have that and you pedal, you, it's illegal, sir. If you have a lot on the front and the back. According officer. to who? According to the law. What statute? The female riding the bike, Annie, says that it's legal and gives the officer her ID and she takes off. Ma'am. Really? Now we have a high speed pursuit. Andy, pull over. Just stop. Please stop. Annie gets a little bit down the road before completely busting her ass and fleeing on foot. Oh Andy, stop, 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 stop. Let me see your hands. No. Stop, stop, stop. Come here. No. Come here, stop it. Andy, stop it. I'm, no. not, I'm not gonna take your not bike. My I'm not Oh my god. I just realized who that is. Is that the cracked out lady from that one stream Angry and I did? Hey, what the fuck, ah! are, you the fuck ah, are you doing? God damn. What are you doing? And now you're fing business, right? Why are you reaching you. why are you reaching under my fence? talking about i think that's the same person anyways annie doesn't want to lose her bike and start shoving things into her mouth or either trying to put some chapstick on i, I don't know when he's trying to arrest her ma'am i gotta put handcuffs <sighs> on you <sighs> no you put my bike. Back in your mouth <sighs> take my bike for me, sir then we see that annie has a bud light can for a muffler and she also tries to run away in handcuffs no. turn around no. Andy. At this point, I can't really tell if this is live PD or Reno 911. I never could have guessed what her felony warrants might have been for. Possession of uh, controlled dangerous substance with intent to distribute it. You know what Annie would probably do if she was at your house? She would steal your things and sell them for drugs. But there is a way to prevent that. Let me have a moment of your time to talk about my sponsor for this video, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable home security system that will make sure your home is safe. When I think about home security systems, I think about having to set up an appointment with someone, dudes having to drive out to my house, possibly drilling holes in my walls, possibly running wires, and I don't want all that. You guys know I won't take any old sponsorship. They hit me up. I never heard it before. I took a look at it, and it's a really great product. I'm not saying that because it is a paid sponsorship. I set it up in my house a minute ago, and it's one of the easiest things I've ever done. The whole process from start to finish goes like this. You go to simplysafe.com slash donut operator. You can pick one of several packages they have put together depending on your home size, or you can customize your own package. You order it, it comes to your house. You don't need any tools to put it up. It all has little sticky pads on it. You set up your base station, which is like the brains of the operation. Welcome to Simply Safe. You install your keypad that talks to the base station. Then you install your motion sensors, your glass break sensors, your entry sensors, Ollie licking his ass, your panic button, your simply cam that activates in case the alarm goes off. You download the app on your cell phone and then you activate the alarm monitoring. A really cool feature too is they have a little key fob that you can carry around and hit the off button, the home button, or the away button. As far as the monitoring goes, there are people sitting there making sure that your house is safe 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If your alarm goes off, a security specialist calls you right away. The camera comes on so that the security specialist can confirm that there is a break-in or an emergency at your house and they call 911 to specifically tell them what is going on. This 
security system is equipped for the worst case scenarios also. It's battery powered if the power goes out and it's got a whole cellular system built into it in case your internet goes out. Something like this may sound expensive, but they have very fair and honest prices. Not only can this protect you from people breaking into your house, but Simply Safe can monitor your front door as well with this handy dandy little video doorbell thingy. Mount it beside your front door. It's got 1080p video. It's got motion detection. It's got two-way audio so you can talk to someone outside of your door and they can talk to you. And it's all connected to your home base and the rest of the security system. Simply Safe has also assured me if Florida Man comes up to your front door and licks this little guy, it will still function. They have smoke detectors, they have water sensors to prevent damage from leaks and floods, and they even have freeze sensors that you can place near any exposed plumbing that's vulnerable to burst during a freeze, all of which is tied into the security system. The whole system just has some very thoughtful features when it comes to protecting your home. The Simply Safe system can protect every single facet of your house, every room, every door, every window. For a few hundred bucks and $15 a month, I don't know why you wouldn't get something like this to protect your home. How many times have you seen crazy footage, especially on my channel, of dudes just walking off the street into someone's house and stealing their stuff. Father's Day is right around the corner. It would make a great gift for fathers. If you are a father, it would be a great gift to yourself to protect your whole family. To get started, go to simplysafe.com slash donut operator, build your own package or order one of their pre-built packages. They'll ship it to you. It only takes you a few minutes to set up all the basic stuff. You download the app, you activate your account, 15 bucks a month. Please check it out if you're interested in protecting your family and your property. Simplysafe.com slash donut operator. End of ad. Florida man is back to being a dickhole this week. Highway cameras down in Miami captured a BMW intentionally striking a Florida state trooper. The driver was talking to one trooper when he suddenly accelerated and sent another trooper flying through the air. The trooper was not injured too severely, though he is at home recovering now. Our pucker factor of the day comes out of Waterbury, Connecticut. Two officers were getting a box of donuts when out of nowhere a dude tries to grab one of the officer's guns. Guns. That muscle memory from a lot of training came into play and the officer went straight for the holster retention. The 46-year-old suspect is facing two counts of assault of a police officer interfering with police, reckless endangerment, and criminal attempt at theft of a firearm. A helicopter in Arizona had to be rescued by a 74-year-old woman yesterday. Oh, wait, it's the other way around. A 74-year-old woman had to be rescued yesterday after suffering an injury while hiking. The rescue, though, quickly spiraled out of control. If you laughed at that, I'll save you a place in hell right next to me. Dramatic footage has been released of an altercation between an officer and a suspect after the officer initiated a traffic stop, got up to the guy's window, and he was clearly just doing drugs inside of the car. The suspect resisted arrest, had to be pulled out of the car, and put into custody. What are you doing in there, smoking that gas? No. Get out of the car. No. no. Get out of the car. No. Get out of the car. I didn't do nothing. You're going to jail, no. smoking that gas. LAPD had to cut down hundreds of acres of forest land last week due to the paperwork caused by a several hour long high speed pursuit. Police attempted to pull over a stolen SUV that refused to be pulled over. It's unpulloverable. During the chase, the driver pretended to stop several times and flipped off the police and took off. He threw his dope out the window, fist bumped homeless people, almost took out innocent bystanders, did some donuts, and about caused some near fatal collisions. In the end, one officer who I'm guessing was a rookie looking to get some, or a veteran who was on his way home at the end of shift decided that the chase needed to be over. Also, this guy trying to get some internet cloud about got taken out. Life pro tip, if police are pitting a car directly in front of you, don't be there. A story has gone viral this week on Facebook that is entitled, A man in Atlanta has been arrested after putting fake aero decals on the floor in an Ikea and creating a labyrinth with no exit. That is hilarious. But I hate to burst your bubble, it's, it's a fake incident. Or does the SCP Foundation just want us to think it's fake? 
Next up, I can't not mention this story of a nine-year-old named Brady Snackovsky. <laughs> Brady Snackovsky out of Strongsville, Ohio. He was watching Live PD one time when he noticed that Borknob was not wearing a vest. He told his mom that he wanted to get said Borknob a vest, and she said, okay, let's start a GoFundMe. They raised $80,000. With this money, they started a nonprofit called Brady's Canines Fund, and it's already donated 79 very expensive vests to unprotected Borknobs. We are ending this Leo recap with none other than Florida man. Two Florida men in Okaloosa Island, Florida thought they were pretty clever when they tried to use a blowtorch to break into an ATM, but instead they welded the hinges of the ATM closed and left with nothing. That is the end of this Leo recap, everyone. Uh, there's a lot of big stuff going on in my life right now. A lot of cool stuff going on. I am opening a skateboard shop that's going to double as a youth diversion center. There's going to be more on that coming. Other than that, you know all my links, Patreon, DonutOperator.com. Check out simplysafe.com slash donut operator, my sponsor for this video. And please have a fantastic day.